your participation in community life, you have had the opportunity to gradually grow into the spirit of our congregation and have come to know our charism and living traditions. During your novitiate, you also had the opportunity to live according to the evangelical councils. Your prayerful study of the constitutions has helped you to understand deeply the implications of living your call to religious life as a sister of Naturally. Do you still desire to consecrate yourself wholeheartedly to the service of God in religious life? Drawn by God's love, I come with my whole heart to follow Christ more closely by the practice of the evangelical counsels according to the charism and spirit of the congregation of the sisters of Notre Dame. I desire to prepare myself more perfectly for perpetual profession of vows and to offer myself as a total gift to Jesus Christ for his mission entrusted to this congregation. And so I ask to make the profession of vows in the congregation of the sisters of Notre Dame. In baptism by water and the Holy Spirit, you have already been consecrated and called to holiness and to God's service. Are you so resolved to bear witness to your eternal union with God and to commit yourself to the apostolic mission entrusted to us by binding yourself to God in religious profession according to the charism of our congregation? I am so resolved. You have been gifted with the mission to proclaim with your life God's goodness and prominent care. Are you resolved to offer the gift of yourself unconditionally to, to Christ through a life of chastity, poverty, and obedience? Yes, I am. May Christ's tender and faithful love enfold you and empower you to live your yes to Him in joyful fidelity. Through the constant intercession of Mary, our patroness, Saint Judy, Sister Maria Aloysia, and Sister Maria Ignatia, and the mutual support and prayers of your sisters, may you know the deep peace and joy of true communion and discipleship. May you witness to all, especially the most needy and poor, the goodness and provident care of God. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, look upon Sister Adira, your servant, who has prepared herself and is resolved to commit herself fully to Christ in religious life. Anoint her with your spirit so that she, like Mary, may always seek and do your holy will with fidelity and persevere and persevere in her vocation. We ask this grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, who having created the human race, preserve your people and give them the grace of salvation. Graciously bestow your blessing upon this ring. She who wears it, being strengthened by your grace, may always live life of perfect faith and remain ever faithful to the profession which she makes her makes her the spouse of Christ. Profession which makes her the spouse of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Now, dear sister, I invite.
invite you to profess your vows. Eternal Triumph God, your faithful love calls me to follow Christ in the congregation of the sisters of Notre Dame. Therefore, I, Sister Mary Adira, vow to you, my God, into the hands of our Superior General, represented by Sister Mary Santhya, for one year, chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the spirit and content of the constitutions of the Sisters of Notre Dame. I commit myself to serve the Church in the apostolic mission entrusted to this congregation. May your infinite goodness, the intercession of Our Lady, and the prayers and support of my sisters sustain me, so that I may live these vows faithfully. Amen. Alleluia. ring as a symbol of your religious consecration. May it be a sign of your fidelity and love and of your total gift of self to Jesus Christ. God of tender and faithful love, you surround me and enfold me to be yours forever. 